Hello, Patty. Thank Hi, Jenna. For, thank you for joining us today to talk about evaluation and data collection methods. Um, would you start off just by introducing yourself to the viewers, and then we'll get into discussing focus groups as a method. That sounds great. My name is Patricia Carroll, but most people call me Patty, and I'm an associate professor and a human development and relationships educator at UW-Madison, the Division of Extension. Thanks, Patty. Um, yeah. We had the pleasure of working together on a, a focus group project this past year, and um, just really grateful to have you here today to help share some of your experiences. Um, so just to start off, when do you like to use focus groups as a data collection method? That's a really good question, Jenna. And I think focus groups um, provide a unique opportunity to dig a little bit deeper than if you were to um, perhaps look at a survey method for data collection. So a focus group allows for a personal connection with people. And for me in extension work, um, when I am trying to build relationships, um, a focus group provides a foundation of, of that personal, interpersonal relationship as I'm trying to um, collect data on any number of topics. Awesome. And then can you say a little bit about like when would you maybe choose a focus group versus a one-on-one -on -one interview? Because they, you know, they can have the similarities of like being able to have that personal connection with it being a qualitative method. But when would you maybe lean towards one versus the other? So I think um, a focus group helps to eliminate bias. Um, you have multiple um, um, points of views. Uh, on specific questions. Um, a one-on-one -on -one interview um, can can lend itself to um, a different set of data collection. So a focus group, you're going to get multiple perspectives. And, um, and I think that's important for a well-rounded collection of data versus um, maybe a more, more narrow focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that with focus groups too, the way that you do the groups, you can have people building on what each other is saying, which can be a deeper, you know, a deeper look or providing alternate perspectives too, which can be helpful to see how they might disagree with something that someone else said. And I and I think too, um, with a focus group, you can you can see um, when people are agreeing with each other, and that allows for um, stronger data sets around specific themes, perhaps, um, versus just the one-on-one -on -one and and not not having that um, that that extra information and in, in data. And like you said, when people disagree, that also is very telling. So um, and that informs the 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 data and the research as well. Thank you, Patty, for sharing, giving us a little bit of an introduction of, of when to use focus groups as a method. <laughs> 